Hey developers! Today I'm going to show you three Christmas holiday themed snippets using CSS. I'm going to show you guys how they work. I'm going to look at the code pens and then show you a site you can see a lot more examples. So make sure you stay tuned and watch all the way to the end. And before we get too far, let's have a quick word from our sponsor. Let me tell you guys about this amazing team management tool, Monday.com. Now, Monday.com is perfect for any size team. Doesn't matter if you have two freelancers working together or thousands of collaborators across the globe. It's perfect for any of those scenarios. It's also great for development teams and non-development teams. So you can have your HR production. They can all use this tool to keep track of everything they need to do in their everyday work. It's very intuitive. You can connect people to processes. It's colorful and very beautiful. It's really simple, but not simplistic. So I would recommend you guys check out monday.com. Make sure you click on that link in the description below and you can get a 14 day free trial. Make sure you check out monday.com. All right, so I went ahead and just did some research and looked around and I just want to see some like simple examples of using CSS and creating holiday themes, uh, especially for Christmas and New Year's. So uh, I found, this is the first of the three I wanted to show you guys. This is called Flat Pure CSS Santa Icon. I'll make sure these links are all in the description below if you guys just kind of want to look at it and check it out. Uh, you see here, here's the code pen for it. It's really simple CSS. Uh, we have a Santa, then we have a class for circles, snow, hat, hat end. You can see here, this actually this little part here is what they call the hat end. Face, mouth, eyes, some dirty overflow, and body, which we'll take a look at. So the CSS is pretty comprehensive. Um, it's pretty simple actually. If you look at the box sizing here, border box, margin, we have the background color. And then we have a Santa, which they're using uh, absolute and relative positions here to, to center everything and make it a certain size. You can see this 120 pixels by 120 pixels. They have a background color and uh, they have a margin top. So they're just kind of placing the image exactly where they want it. They have the Santa snow. Um, we can see background color white. So if we put blue here, we can kind of see this is the little uh, snow here in the background which they are creating in this the Santa snow here. They have actually the Santa snow after, so they're doing this uh, absolute positioning and they're positioning these little snow right on the screen here by positioning it after this uh, Santa snow, after this selector. So if we go back up here, so it's like after this one. Um, so you could take a look here. Um, that's, you know, this one right here. Um, there's also, they're doing a before too, so once again, um, that's this one right here. So all three of these are just kind of uh, positioned that way. Absolute, um, right after this div tag. Uh, the Santa hat is actually two parts. There's a Santa hat, which is the top, which is this half dome. And then they have the right-hand side, which is the end of the hat. Um, so you can see here how they do the background colors, margins. Once again, just doing absolute positioning to put exactly where they want on the screen. Um, nothing too special here. You can see how they do um, this radius right here to make the the dome there and then they have a Santa hat after which if you look here that's this little top right here that they're adding in uh, kind of the top uh, the bottom of the hat I should say so they're just using it right after this div tag they're putting this after uh, face um, you can see right here the face is this this part right here and it's really simple too. They're just putting a width and height. Once again, doing a border radius, um, setting margins, position relative, and then kind of positioning it at the top. Uh, their eyes, you can see here, they're using relative positioning again, and they're just putting setting up the top and, and exactly where they want it on the screen. I'm not gonna go through all the CSS, but you guys can certainly take a look at it. It's pretty impressive. and It's really simple and, and easy to follow, I think. And there wasn't anything real crazy. I don't know, this dirty overflow was the only thing that was a little weird. Um, they had an overflow hidden in here right at the end. I wonder if, if we take that overflow to none. Oh, you can see here, they just did it so that way the body wasn't uh, overflown there. Um, so that way it remains inside the circle and they put the border radius of where the dirty overflow was. 
So just that was it. Um, yeah, I highly check it out. It's kind of neat. The second one I wanted to show you is the code pen for Christmas tree. Now this is a little bit more involved, quite a bit more involved. Uh, they do have some uh, container, looks like they have some mouse over events on it. So that's why if you mouse in there, you can see it has the lights glowing. Um, they also move the stockings, which is a nice little touch. Oh, and the present moves. Not the star though, they could have done something there. Uh, you can see here on the left hand side, a quite a bit more complicated for the CS or the HTML. We have this container that contains everything. You can see once again, they always use absolute positioning in these things um, to position on the screen. They have individual objects. So let's see here, here is socks. I guess so this would be like the stockings. Um, they have a position absolute, top, socks two. They have the hover for the socks on it. Then they have this top, background position, foot, which I guess might be the bottom here. Uh, let's see here. I don't know, let's, orange. Background, not sure exactly. Yeah, you can see right here, it's the bottom of the, uh, the stocking there. Is that color there? have foot two, I'm guessing that's the second one on the tree. Yep, right here. This is kind of what I do when I'm playing around to see how people did things. Uh, they have absolute positioning in the tree, they have the base. So I'm guessing that's right down here. So if I change the color here to blue, you can see, yeah, it's the base down here. So this is kind of a neat, like once again, just kind of a neat example of what you could do with CSS. Once again, they're using a lot of um, these after selectors. Um, yeah, so not too bad. The third one, this actually is not using CSS. It's using uh, Canvas. Uh, you can see uh, using this Canvas, get context, and it's doing the fills. But if you're interested in Canvas, it's pretty neat what they're doing. No, not a ton of CSS. It's all here in the JavaScript. Uh, you can see here what's it's doing, I don't know Canvas very well, but this looks like pretty simple other than all these, I don't know what these are, randoms. Uh, so I thought that was kind of a neat example of just doing snowflakes on the screen. Now I found a lot of these examples and you can find more at a website called Code My UI. Uh, if you look at this website, it has tons of little CSS snippets, but it's not just for Christmas, which you can see they have a handful of Christmas ones in here, but it also has uh, you can just look at anything you want. And this is, I'm not sponsored by these guys or anything. I just found this website. Um, I can go to like buttons and see how they, like maybe I like the way they did these buttons here. I can click on it and almost all of them have code pens. So I'll leave, a, I'll include a link for these guys too. I can even bring it up myself. So this one, you see has this kind of crazy mouse over effect and it, Everything kind of translate moves as the mouse moves around the screen. You can see how they did it right over here. Looks like they have a mouse move function which sets some kind of offsets, which changes this DX, which does this transform poster and they do these translate 3Ds to make these kind of cool effects. Kind of this parallax for each layer. Uh, so it doesn't look too, that looks a little complicated, but I bet if you just go through this code, it's not that bad see what they're doing. Here is, uh, you're using CSS variables, looks like, or actually SAS variables. And here's their font settings. You can see here, once again, they're using absolute positioning. And here's their menu list. And here's their transform that they're doing. Uh, menu items, their before blocks. I mean, this looks definitely a lot more complicated but I bet if you just take a little bit of time, you can understand it. So anyways, I would check out Code My UI. Just that's one thing you, CSS is really easy to learn, but to master it and to do animations and do things like this, it becomes actually quite difficult. And if you've worked as a web developer, sooner or later, you're gonna have somebody saying, hey, can you add these really cool effects and animations and, and uh, to do the simple ones, can even that that can take some time, especially if you're not used to it. I mean, once you learn how to do some basic stuff, you can get through it, but it definitely can become a lot more complicated as you get cooler and cooler designs. Um, 
not every one of them is useful as is, is not, they're not all super useful though anyways that that's about it today if you guys have made it all to the end of the video i just want to wish you guys a happy holidays merry christmas and uh have a happy new year happy holidays and thank you for watching take care and if you guys like this video make sure you click that subscribe button and click that little bell button that helps me out cheers